We start with a point. Hi, it's Rob Bryant, and welcome back to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Uh, and just a reminder here, there's always a, a link that we provide in these blogs to the text version of the blog down there in the description box. Uh, if you'd like to read along, please do so. Uh, this is a uh, part of a series of blogs about the polls that we're running at the Tenth Dimension blog. And uh, this is number 32 in the series. The question was, in the same sense that up is not a dimension, time is a direction not a dimension. And uh, we found that 56% agreed with that while the rest disagreed. These polls can be very instructive to me. Some concepts that I think will be contentious end up with much more agreement and some, like this one, that I think the majority will be willing to agree to come out close to a tie. Let's talk a little more about this question. What dimension is up a dimension within? If we call the first dimension length, the second dimension width, and the third dimension depth is up in the first dimension. This is where the confusion begins. What dimension is east a direction in? What dimension is forwards a direction in? None of these questions make sense because a direction can be in any spatial dimension. And the direction only makes sense as a dimension when we consider the opposite direction at the same time. So let's go back then. In what dimensions do we find up and down, or east and west, or backwards and forwards. These questions still don't really make sense because we need even more context. Depending upon your orientation within 3D space, any of these words could apply to any vector within that space. But as soon as you arbitrarily establish one of those sets as being your current orientation, you then bring to mind two additional sets of directions that make sense within that context. And each of those sets is at right angles to the others. Discussions of the fourth spatial dimension, then, are bothered by all the same possible miscommunications. Is time a direction in the fourth spatial dimension? Sure, it could be one of them, but depending upon your orientation within that space, you could just as easily say that up or forwards or even east is a direction within 4D space. As soon as you pick one of those words, you then limit what you can call the other directions. As it says in the Wikipedia article on the fourth dimension, one of the proposed sets of names for the two new directions in the fourth spatial dimension would be Anna and Kata. For our own entropy-driven reality, riding the arrow of time, I've been encouraging people to think of the two directions in the fourth spatial dimensions as time and anti-time, and to think of that dimension as a whole as duration. If up can be a direction in any spatial dimension, does that mean that time could be as well? Sure, it just depends upon your orientation, your frame of reference. This is why I say that for a 2D flatlander, they would perceive time to be in the third spatial dimension. Generally speaking, I would say that time is a direction in the next dimension up from the one you're examining. But that's only one of the possible ways of describing how one spatial dimension relates to another. This is an idea I'm passionate about, as it's central to this way of visualizing the dimensions. In Aren't There Really Eleven Dimensions, I show how important this is. The ten dimensions that physicists talk about are spatial dimensions. Spatial dimensions have a clear relationship to each other. Each is at right angles to the one before, which means, as hard as this is to visualize, that all spatial dimensions are at right angles to each other. One useful way of thinking about this is with a set of nested spheres with each new dimension enfolding all of the previous ones. Another way of approaching this idea is to think of those ten spatial dimensions as a tower. But if the fourth dimension is time rather than a full spatial dimension encompassing the two directions of time and anti-time, then that tower is built upon a shaky foundation. No wonder there are still scientists who refuse to believe that there are any extra dimensions at all. And this is a discussion we got into in the video uh, for Aren't There Really 11 Dimensions? Uh, so the link is going up here now. Jason will give you the button for that. Based upon the results of the above poll question we're talking about, it looks like this is a flag I'm going to have to continue waving. 
Some of the other videos where I've talked about the idea that time is just a direction in the fourth spatial dimension includes hypercubes in Plato's cave. Time is a direction. Dr. Mel's 4D glasses. Time in three dimensions. Wormholes. And t equals zero. To close, here's one of my songs about trying to achieve that perspective where, as Einstein liked to say, the distinction between past, present, and future is meaningless. The song is called Big Bang to Entropy. Now that's all for this time around. Next time we'll look at poll 33, which was called Could I Meet My Incarnation? That's all for now. Rob Bryanton, enjoy the journey. I slowed down Till I heard the moon I heard the moon ringing Ringing like a bell I slowed down Till I felt the earth I felt the blitz sliding Skaters on a pond And I finally felt the long groove Moving underneath Birds from deaths of galaxies Pounding out the beat and I finally heard the whole song at once Big Bang to Entropy Big Bang to Symmetry Big Bang to Everything I slowed down Till I saw the sun Sun spinning on a pinwheel's arm. And I saw the long chain of our DNA stretching back to the beginning for so long. And I saw the mighty ocean that surrounds and sustains, connecting us together in a song. I slowed down Till I saw the song There's only one of many One of many more And I finally felt the long groove Moving underneath Earth's and deaths of galaxies Pounding out the beat and I finally heard the whole song at once Big Bang to Entropy Big Bang to Symmetry Big Bang to Everything It begins as nothing Silence at the end Every song's the same after or before but the parts in between, there are so very many forms More than we could ever hope to know 